Hello guys, in this video we shall be talking about one of the more interesting methods to solve certain problems in electrostatics which is method of images. So let's begin. So what is the main idea behind this approach? So in the last video we had talked about the uniqueness theorem which stated that if the boundary conditions were given to us in some sense then we can actually find a unique solution for the potential in the region of interest. Now what we are going to see is that if we alter the system in such a way that boundary conditions aren't affected but the system is such that we can calculate the electric field and potential much easier then whatever we are going to do now won't really be different from what would have been the case when it was the original condition. So that is a very interesting hack or exploitation which makes many problems much easier and works surprisingly well. But there are a few important things that need to be kept in mind such as the changes should be made in the regions outside the region of interest because if we make any change in the region of interest then the conditions of uniqueness theorem don't really apply and we can't utilize it. Also whatever properties we calculate like electric field and potential they are only valid in the region of interest but we might make mistakes of using it in the regions outside the region of interest but then it won't work. So this must be kept in mind. So let us look at a few examples to see how it works. So the first classic example is the point charge over a grounded conducting tube. Now if we look at the original problem, it is quite difficult because we don't really know what is the charge distribution on the grounded conductor itself. So we won't really have any feasible method to calculate the potential in any region or any point in let's say z greater than zero. So how do we apply this method? So first we need to look at the region of interest which is z greater than 0 and we are not interested in z less than 0. That point is important. Then the boundary conditions are as z goes to infinity the potential is 0 because the charge is in a finite region and there is no infinite electric field or anything like that. And potential at z equal to 0 is 0 because it is grounded. So since we know z less than 0 is a region which is not in our interest, we can actually start placing appropriate emit charges there. So we can see we can place minus q and the boundary conditions remain the same. Like z equal to 0 has potential 0 and the same at z tending to infinity. So whatever potential we get in this case because of uniqueness theorem should be the same. So we can actually calculate the potential due to these two charges plus q and minus q at any point much easier because we know the formula for them easily from the previous lectures. So in this way we can actually calculate the potential and the electric field at any point and z greater than 0 but we can't say anything about z less than 0 because we are altering the thing. So with that we can use boundary conditions to actually calculate the charge density at any point. So we know the normal component of electric field just outside the sheet. So with that we can actually calculate the surface charge density anywhere and we can get these results quite easily. So this is one interesting example. Then the next example is the charge and grounded conducting sphere system. So here we have a conducting sphere which is grounded and we have a charge either inside or outside depending on the problem. So similar algorithm can be applied. So the charge where it is kept would be the region of interest and if it is outside then the outside region would be the region of interest and we can make changes inside the sphere. Boundary conditions apply in a similar manner and in this problem the results are more important in the sense that we can be extended to other charge distributions as well. Like if there are multiple charges outside then we can use the similar results and we don't have to derive them from scratch so it's a sort of like a building block for more complicated problems. So this is the charge like this is the charge uh, and this will be opposite to that of the original charge and this is the distance from the center of the grounded sphere. And similarly we can apply this technique to many other problems like this is the case where we have uh, two planes which are grounded. So there will be three extra image charges and appropriately we can calculate the potential electric field. This is a dipole and we can also apply similar techniques in this. and many other cases if there are let's say planes at different angles that is also possible. So these are some examples where method of images can be applied. Thank you.